Hi, my name is Jacob Pluter and welcome to another Rowan Uncut segment. So today I want to speak about the future of South African politics and what the possible outcomes can be of the 2024 elections. And, and, and this conversation comes after I've been thinking lately a lot about the, the future of the ANC. Um, the African National Congress. So as many of, of us would know, uh, they didn't do good um, in the 2021 20, local government elections. Uh, but that, that, is, that, is, that, that was not the first time they didn't do good in the elections. What marked 2021 is the, the way they lost. And, and for the first time, it seems is um, the South African uh, general population have lost faith, especially voters have lost faith in the ANC. So the reason I've been thinking about the ANC is that um, are we ready in South Africa for a new leadership or a new leader um, at the national front since 1994, what we have become um, used to is the ANC president. So we start off with Nelson Mandela, then we have Thabo Mbeke, then we had Halema Matlante, then we had Jacob Zuma, and, and now we have Cyril Ramaphosa. So currently the ANC's focus is so geared towards um, the upcoming um, National Congress where they're going to elect a new leader. Uh, and, and the conversation has lately been a lot about Cyril Ramaphosa and if there is going to be a challenger to the, to, to the throne. So, but, but what the ANC have lost sight of is um, what is going to happen um, if they are not going to be elected uh, into power in the 2020-24 elections. So if they don't getting um, the majority, let's say they get 49% of the, the total votes that means that they will have to go into uh, negotiations with other parties like your DA and your um, EFF and even uh, the Patriotic Alliance or any other national party um, that, that's big at a national level. They will have to go into negotiations with those parties to come up with a with a what, what, what an outcome of was the dead government at the, at the national level going to look like. And this is where things is getting interesting for me. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, um, that the ANC got 49% of the votes and they are now in, in negotiation. Who is going to be the people or the parties that they're going to negotiate with? So most probably it's going to be either the DA or the EFF. And as we know is that um, you have at, at the DA you have John Steen, uh, John Steenhuysen as is um, as, as their presidential candidate, and at, and at the EFF you have Julius Malema. So and and this is where I'm, I'm um, this is where I'm asking if we think about the future and, and the implications that that's going to have for South Africa is that are we ready, South Africans, um, to let go of the idea that. It's only the ANC that can be the president and can lead us um, at a national level. Uh, because if they didn't get, the, if they doesn't get the vote, it is not going to guarantee. Um, if they got forty nine percent of the vote, it's not going to guarantee that they are going to have the the presidency. So, are we ready for John Steenhuysen as our next president? Uh, are we ready is for Julius Malema is is our next next president? So those are the questions that we that that, that we have to have to think about. Um, are we ready for for the change that is coming? Me personally, like I said in a in a previous run and cut section, is that um, uh, I I I don't know who to vote for in the twenty twenty four elections because the politics of most of the, the the dominant parties doesn't really speak to the majority of South Africans. The, the majority of South Africans, really, their issues is bread and butter, but we also have a, 
have a growing black middle class who's who's interested that we have to what that we have to look at and none of these parties can speak to it um one of the reasons um south african citizens got um uh, of lost faith, faith in the ANC is is with the corruption and even uh, the non responsiveness uh, at the local and a provincial level to the issues that people in those communities are facing so the ANC um they're getting up for this national congress but i think they have lost sight of um whatever the outcome of the conference uh, the, the congress is in in at the end of this year is not going to guarantee um that they're going to be in the next election so the so what i'm trying to say is that even though sol ramaphosa is going to be elected um as the next president if he's going to be elected that's not going to guarantee that he's going to be the president because under his leadership the anc have done of at, at the worst election outcome um so far so that is just um uh, something that i want you guys to to ponder uh, ponder um uh with me and share your thoughts um what do you think would be the the the, the election outcome um in 2024 um is john c nation or julius malema going to be our next next president and that's going to be a interesting um a period in 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 the new democratic dispensation if the anc is losing the elections and as it currently look every empire breaks from the inside and never from the outside and that is what we currently seeing in the anc thank you very much um for supporting the channel thank you for watching uh if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you did subscribe thank you very much i appreciate all of the support until we see each other bye bye